Alright guys, Peter here today. This video will be kind of vloggy. I'm going to work on my van which is parked outside here. I will get my stove going and then we will work on this van. I need to swap out the handle that I broke when I was transporting scrap metal and I need to change the windshield wiper motors. So I will get the heat going and we will move to the van. So while that's burning and the smoke is coming up I don't want my van to burn down. So I've got the new parts right here. I've got the handle for the sliding doors and I've got the new new windshield wiper motors motors. So I will open the hood and we will swap this out. Open this up. So the windshield wiper motor is hidden right there behind this plastic cover. I will take these two 10 millimeter nuts off and uh, we will then extract the motor itself. There is a 114 millimeter nut holding the wiper arm to the motor. So I will spin that off. Here it is. Then we have three 10 millimeter bolts holding the motor to the bracket. So there is the old motor. As you can see, it's all oily and it also smells. I think we are good. The motors look the same. Okay, that's fairly nice. So I've got the three screws back now for the main. And then I will jump in and test this if it works properly and we will button all the covers back in and we will move to the sliding door handle. Alright, now I'm inside the van. I added some firewood to the stove and we are going to try this wiper motor out, so... The moment of truth! The single, it works. The cycler. The second position. And the third position. Okay. That's fixed, so I will shut this off and I will move to this this handle. I don't know if you can see that, but I broke off this handle while I was ha hauling scrap metal the other day. And these these doors, they do not fit on the top and the water can leak out leak through the seals and they will freeze and I have to pry pry them open and I busted that uh, 
that handle out. So I will have to unpin this plate, lift that off, and uh, then I will then I will swap the handle out. So I will turn you off for that, and I will show you in the minute the inside of the door. So I've got this this back panel off, and now. I had have to zap you cannot see that but I have to zap the two two screws that are on the back side here and there and then there is a one one screw right here so I will zap those off I will undo all the linkages the panel that gave me a hard time there was uh, 20, 21 of these of these Christmas tree type fasteners, and without the proper tour, they are they are really really a pain in the butt to get off. So my camera is dying. I will zap this off. So that was the footage of my Citroen jumper. I was trying to get it ready for my trip to Austria because I found a bike, a Honda CBR 929 in Austria. It was like Sunday night, um, 20 or 8 p.m. and I wrote that guy an email saying that I'm interested in the bike but he replied to me that I can arrive today and I said no I cannot because it's three hours of drive to you and I will be there like at midnight and he said that's fine uh, midnight if you will be there in before the midnight that's fine I said no 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 I will arrive Monday and he said no I I work all week at Germany so I said fine no problem and we arranged our our meeting to Saturday morning and I called him Friday, he didn't answer the phone. I called him Saturday night, he didn't answer the phone. And then he sent me a text that he sold it. So that's one content that I cannot bring you guys because of the, these people. I was preparing uh, that one in a hurry. I changed the wiper motor, I changed the handle, I cleaned inside, I repaired the... A fan, the blower motor fan and so on and then the guy said he just sold it okay never mind and what about the copart um, I didn't have much luck at copart let me show you uh, this is the last lost for last 90 days I lost this Mitsubishi Lancer recently. Uh, this car is worth about 2,000 bucks after uh, it it's repaired. It sold for 7,500 bucks before the fees and before the transport repair and so on. Uh, the prices you can see is are in euros and the euro is uh, about 50 cents more than a dollar so the prices are a little bit off um, this car was not in bad shape obviously it needed bumper light fender a hood and maybe some parts underneath it was rusting a little bit on 
on the right corner right here there was a photo yes here it is as you can see it was rusty rusty through here so I had to leave a room for the rust on the undercarriage second I lost this Kawasaki uh, 2014 Kawasaki it um, sold for thousand bucks and my bid was like it was 800 euros my, my bid was 575 then this one cool little car this is a Ford Fiesta ST I really really wanted this car because I like small hot hatchbacks and small cars in general and the head, uh, hot hatches definitely uh, this car is impacted uh, right here at this uh, passenger side corner uh, it needs a uh, fender, a hood, a light a uh, bumper can be saved uh, this car you can see the, the lines on the hood didn't line up so the hinges too overall pretty nice car I like these STs, Ford, um, uh, Focus, ST, the Fiesta ST I like those interior is half leather seats with the cloth uh, in the middle nothing wrong there here you can see that uh, this light is shoved in to the bumper a little bit so the lower tabs are probably no good it had uh, 190,000 kilometers Um, it needed uh, rear brakes these rotors are rusted completely there is some some misaligned trim on the sides no big deal but this car uh, my bid before the fees transportation repair and so on was 1000 euros it sold for one, 1450 euros which is like 2225 bucks uh, after the fees and this car is only worth like 3000 to 3500 dollars so I cannot afford a risk uh, these, uh, this price then I lost this Yamaha FZS Phaser 1000 nothing spectacular here I lost this little KTM 125 two, two older BMWs this one was missing uh, any documentation to it this one and then we will take a look at some of the older cars that I lost uh, one Suzuki nothing interesting there I was bidding on this Mercedes Atego uh, car hauler I really wanted this car hauler but uh, the car hauler had a Dutch paperwork to it and it was sold at Germany so and I contacted the transport companies in my area and nobody was able to tow uh, this vehicle without uh, the paperwork from the Dutch side sorted out so I let this one slip here is one one little car that uh, you find that you cannot find in US it's a 2003 Seat Ibiza 1.9 turbo diesel I let it slip because it was like thousand bucks and this car is worth after the uh, repair and so on like 1500 1700
Uh, but overall, it was not really damaged. One scrape along the side. Here. And then there was, was this 4.0 Mustang. But the parts for Mustangs here in Europe, um, they are not cheap. And this one, a hail damage Chevrolet Kalos. Uh, this is, uh, I don't think you can find this a Chevrolet in the United States because this was a Daewoo, um, Daewoo Kalos um, before the Chevrolet I bought it. So, one pretty hell, pretty hell hail damaged car. So, and last thing, my Mazda 2 is still not sold. I have listed the Mazda as the third, uh, fourth cheapest in the Czech Republic. Here you have one for 37,000 Czech crowns with two, uh, 232,000 kilometers. Then there is one for the same price as my 45,000 Czech crowns, one 49,000 kilometers. Then this is the fourth, uh, I mean third, third one, 45,000 kilometers, uh, I'm sorry, crowns, 173,000 kilometers, same price as mine, but these three vehicles, they doesn't have the history, they are multi, multi-owner vehicles, and here is my advertisement. Here is my uh, little ad for this car. Here, is, here are some pictures of it. This server doesn't allow you to uh, turn the turn the photos around so some of the photos are crooked but I think that doesn't harm the car too much I had one family uh, that was looking at it they come and they test drive the car and they seem happy but then they started lowballing me and I give them an offer of four, 40,000 check crowns with all the fees to register it and they said they will think it through and they never never ever reach to me again so that's why I cannot buy more copart cars be because I really don't have the money and the space to do it so wish me luck that I sell this, this one and we will be able to buy some more uh, I have on the watch list this fake CLK 63 AMG it's just a CLK 500 but the, the bodywork on it is um, fake or kit uh, CLK 63 and this car if I bought this car it will drain all my money and it will take like two years to sell then we have this Audi RS5, uh, RS6 heavily damaged I was hoping to buy this car for a parts car because the engine here in Europe is worth like five to six thousand euros and the price is now six point six thousand euros so that but again that's all my money at this moment and I can't afford it 
and the car is listed as no runner so that's a risky car then we have uh, this Mercedes CLS 350 here 320 really nice car but the parts are aren't cheap and I have uh, another Ford Focus ST uh, this car passed one auction and the price, the starting price was uh, 1,030, uh, I'm sorry, 1,300 euros and uh, the insurance company decided they want more money so they raised that entering bid to 3,500 euros uh, the car didn't sell at the auction it will be run again but uh, for 2,500 uh, euros uh, that's not worth it uh, I will bought this car for 1,500 euros plus fees and so on it's heavily damaged will probably have a frame damage but we'll see so wish me luck that I will sold my Mazda uh, soon and we can we can take a look at some of these cars uh, another car you will not see in the US is this Alfa Romeo Spider uh, this car passed like five auctions and it did drop to 50 euros I was hoping to steal it for 50 but now it's um, 275 euros and uh, four days to auction so that will not happen this car has a mechanical damage uh, to the roof and the engine and the transmission are uh, damaged so. and also some of the US imported uh, cars uh, started to appear US ex US vehicle imported vehicle this Civic Coupe um, you cannot find the Civic Coupe in Europe it's only for US market so this is a unicorn for us also there is a BMW 535i uh, F10 series but that's a flat and I will not touch that uh, this Jaguar is at 60 uh, euros right now I hope I can stall this this one for you uh, it has a very low damage to the radiator here and some minor scuffs and cosmetic issues so that will be it for this video it was kind of vloggy stay in tune for my other videos I hope I can produce some good content in the future stay safe out there I'm out of here, bye.